A few months ago I put out a video that featured the French giant Lea Fontaine being thrown a couple of times and a lot of the comments on that video were complaining about the quality of her judo. And I kind of see your point, but despite her limitations, she is pretty formidable and she had two of her best results at the Tokyo Grand Slam last weekend. She was able to beat Tomita Wakaba, who was Japan's representative in the super heavyweight category at the last World Championships. And she was also able to beat Hikaru Kodama, who's had a lot of good results domestically in Japan. She's finished in second place in a lot of the major tournaments over the past year. But she did come unstuck against Maya Akiba. So here we're going to see Akiba with strong sleeve grip. Not much of a throw attempt, but it was enough to get things to the ground. And this is where the limitations were exposed. She was able to take over and slowly force Fontaine onto her back. And initially, there's an Osai Komi count called, but Fontaine is able to belly down, get enough of that chest facing the tatami that the ref waves off the Osai Komi. Kiva takes Ude Garami. And Fontaine showing a lot of spinal flexibility, really able to rotate around, but finally Akiba is able to go chest to chest and get most of her back pointed towards the mat and she takes the Osai Komi victory. But it wasn't the only big success for Akiba at this event. In her next match in the semi-final against the Korean, she would go on to win with a choke out from an Okuri Eri Jime. So the Korean was on two Shidos. She needed to keep up the attacks and she found herself out gripped and not wanting to concede the third Shido. She tried to go in for the Ochigari just to look busy. And when she did so, Akiba snapped that wrist right under the neck. She had the collar grip for an Okuri Eri Jime finish. I think Kim tried to submit and was already out quite a long time before the referee raised his hand. 70 seconds later and Kim was finally able to get back on her feet. The stretcher was not needed, but she certainly did require some assistance leaving the tatami. Subscribe for more non-stop Nuaza.